Hello wonderful little bees, my name is B and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and click that bell so you never miss any of my daily Royal High videos. And of course, use my star code B, that's B-E-A, when you buy Robux or Premium. The brand new little bee merch is here. Head over to bplayers.shop to check out the Christmas collection. You guys, today we are going to be talking a little bit about Royal High's new era. And it's what I am considering to be a brand new era of Royal High that we are about to enter. Something that I feel is going to make a huge difference to future updates and how we perceive Royal High as a whole. I am so excited, you guys, so let's get started. As you guys can see, Dolly and I are so ready for this new era of Royal High, but also very much ready for Christmas. And you're probably wondering about this new era of Royal High and exactly what I'm talking about in it, so I'm going to let Dolly give you a quick explanation. Basically, we're talking about how the updates are going to change, how Royal High is going to change, and how the current state of the game is going to shape the new version. Absolutely, you guys. you got to remember, the first obviously thing that's really sticking out in people's minds here, that the new era of Royal High is going to have is of course going to be the new score that is going to completely revolutionize the game and completely change it from the game that we know right now to an entirely new and completely different system which of course is going to be very exciting you guys but we are going to be entering into a new era of Royal High before that actually comes around. Now you might be wondering how we are going to be entering into a new era but you guys I'm going to cast your minds back we're all going to remember something very specific. If you remember back you guys, you'll remember that way back at the beginning of this update that we have right now, right before the Christmas update came out, it was announced to us by the devs that they are going to be changing the way that they do the updates. Rather than producing the current update right before it comes out, they are instead going to be starting on the next update following, which obviously right now is New Year's. So they have developers currently working on New Year's while some were working on Christmas. And going forward, they will all be working on the next next following update rather than the one that is about to come out. In other words, so that the updates are finished sooner and are able to be out on time at a more appropriate time of the day without there being any chance of delays or issues coming up. So you guys might be wondering, why does this take us into a new era of Royal High? Well, it's going to take us away to this era of Royal High we're used to, where updates seem to release at random times. We never really know when it's coming. Things take longer to come out because they need more time to finish them. And various things like that that cause lots of people to become irritated by the updates and the devs to no doubt feel extremely overwhelmed. So, with that in mind, you guys, we are going to think clearly about the way that the new updates are going to come out. Because instead of that old system of essentially panicking, the new system is going to introduce a way for the devs to create the updates well in advance and give them at certain times. So, for example, in the next year, obviously for Christmas next year, for 2022, we can probably expect the Christmas update to actually properly be out on the 1st of December. The Halloween update will likely come out on time on the 1st of October. Pieces of the updates will officially come out, presumably, on the actual suggested time frame for that update, rather than us panicking that they're not coming, or them coming out too late for us actually to enjoy it. You guys, that gives them plenty of time to then fix any issues that come up, test the games, and of course, make sure that the updates have everything they need before the actual official release time. For example, you guys, you may remember recently Lance tweeted and said, thank you everyone who stopped by the stream and everyone who's helped test. But specifically to D-Dog and Callan for all the bug smashing today. This was not the only time that they had confirmed they had actually used testers or beta testers to test out the new updates. In other words, you guys, if the devs are now using beta testers, you may remember back in about Valentine's Day this time this year, you guys, back in 2021 Valentine's, we had the Lunar New Year update that came out at the same time and people had a lot of problems with it. People were not happy with the way it was and the devs didn't have time to update and fix it because there was such a limited time frame before it came out to actually having Lunar New Year and it would have made no sense to fix the update after Lunar New Year had happened. They want to avoid this happening and if there are beta testers testing the updates before they come out, you can be almost guaranteed the updates will actually be properly done and actually good and solid and ready well before it's time to actually come out so issues like that don't come up. It seems to me the devs are trying to take an active stance to avoid being working all the way up to the actual deadline and even past the deadline 
deadline sometimes and instead to have these updates done with plenty of time in advance so that they can make sure everything is perfect before it officially releases. Personally, you guys, I think this is a wonderful idea and I think they're being very smart about this and I'm really looking forward to this new system for updates. And in case you were wondering when that first update will come out with this new era, well, the New Year's update is of course on the way and will release presumably at the end of this month, ready for the 1st of January. Usually New Year's updates come out maybe a day or two before the end of the month, obviously after Christmas, there'll be a bit of a crunch, but this year they won't have to crunch over their Christmas holidays holidays since we know Callan had already been designated to begin the New Year's update already. And presumably you guys, now that the Christmas stuff is finishing off, the rest of the devs will surely go and help him as well and join in with finishing off the New Year's update before they even need it to make sure everything is perfect, then begin. Presumably on the Valentine's update. As you can see, Styx tweeted there and said, they've been discussing new ideas for New Year's. There's some pretty unique and interesting ideas, not really even news, it's more of a given really, but of course, Lance was talking about it on his stream. As always, Styx and Tricks, thank you for the tea. But you guys can expect that the new New Year's update is obviously going to be really good. I am really looking forward to seeing what is coming. I am glad they're giving themselves plenty of time to develop it this time. And it does mean that I feel pretty confident that we can all look forward to enjoying a beautiful new update, but specifically an amazing new era for Royal High going forward. I mean, next year, of course, the new school is going to come out, which is going to change everything anyways, but the new era of Royal High is upon us, you guys, and I'm sure you are all excited as well and looking forward to when all of these things finally release for us to enjoy. Person the little means I can't wait for it and I'm sure you can't either so let me know in the comments if you can And as always I want to say a big thank you to all of you for watching today's video Don't forget to enter our Roblox giveaway by liking this video Subscribing to the channel and commenting your Roblox username down below And putting hashtag little bean giveaway at the end of your comment to enter the giveaway Look out in your Roblox messages for the winners who will be contacted with their Roblox codes Also I want to say a huge huge thank you to all of the people who sent me fan art I hope you've been enjoying seeing it on the videos and of course we'll be sending more out too on the videos make sure to use hashtag B plays fan art on Twitter or of course send it in my discord my editor is constantly looking on Twitter and on discord for new fan art to share on the videos so please make sure to put it there so we can share it and of course use hashtag LBSO if you want to be the next little bean shout out Thanks for watching everyone, I love you all lots. Please follow me on all of my social medias, the links are all down below, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I'm really working hard to grow my Twitter and Instagram specifically this year, you guys. So please help me to reach my girls, it really would mean a lot to me. And also, one last thing, make sure you go and subscribe to my Roleplay channel because it's coming back, and you guys have convinced me to start doing some Royal High Roleplay over there. So, Royal High Roleplay is coming to the channel, and I'm very excited about it. I love you guys lots little beans. Have a great day. Goodbye, you stack could be.